This morning, we're joined by LAPD Chief Michael Moore, who did not win the lottery and is back <laughs> for his monthly visit. Thanks for being back on the show. Great to be here. Thank you. Uh, uh, we want to start with public safety, obviously a big concern for people. What assurances can you make to people in L.A. that you guys are out there on the street trying to make everybody safe? Well, the assurance is that we are dedicated to protect and serve the communities, and we're looking at the, the instances of crime, particularly violent crime as they're occurring across the city. We're shifting our resources. We're using smart policing in the sense of technology to identify where are our hotspots, where are our offenders that are committing this gun violence. And I'm proud of the results of our, of our people. A much smaller workforce, but that much smaller workforce is taking this on. We're seeing reductions in violent crime, homicides, fewer shooting victims, uh, fewer robbery victims. Uh, our property crime is a little more challenging, but we're, we're seeing reductions there as well. So what we ask the public to do is continue to work with us, recognize that we have a shared responsibility, which means all of us working together to prevent crime, but also to recognize other parts of the criminal justice system, our social systems as far as providing services that can interrupt the cycle of crime and the instances that are happening. All right, a lot of it is economic, yeah. right, and crimes of opportunity. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the fireworks explosions. Uh, it was in 2021. The department has had a few years now to look mm -hmm. into this. The, the officers' names are now out there. People are calling for them to be fired. Where do you stand on this right now? And are, do you have concern for the officers whose names are out there? Well, uh, first of all, it's been more than two years since this tragic accident occurred, and, and I am uh, proud of the work in the sense of we did a top-to-bottom review of every aspect of that operation, well, not just in the personnel that were involved, but our practices, our training, our policies. And with that, there's been a, a stark uh, change as far as number of personnel that are assigned to that uh, unit, the people that are working on that unit, and I also took uh, direct action. and. and on those that were involved in this and made the errors, made the mistakes that they did. I know that people are dissatisfied. They want me to t uh, publicly acknowledge the names. Uh, unfortunately, by California state law, the identity of those involved in this and these disciplinary actions are confidential, and I'm prohibited by state law from, uh, from publishing them, from acknowledging them. But what I can assure the public is that that incident is a moment that has changed forever the course of the Los Angeles Police Department about how we go about the destruction of very dangerous items. And you'll not see that type of, uh, of, of a incident again anywhere in the city. And we've had a multitude of instances in which we've had the opportunity and the requirement to dispose of dangerous fireworks. And our people have done so uh, safely. They've done so without having to expose a, a neighborhood to danger. And so uh, I, I'm hopeful that we can move forward. I recognize the frustration. I'm encouraged by our elected officials, our mayor, our city council that have weighed in directly to restore the lives that were so tragically disrupted by that accident. Uh, I wanted to also mention uh, st street racing. You are backing legislation to curb that. It is a huge problem. We see it over and over again um, in Southern California. Why is it necessary and what does that legislation entail? So it's necessary because it's costing us lives. We're seeing people who will recklessly go out into our neighborhoods late at night, but also during the, e the evening hours doing these street takeovers and they're exposing not just themselves, but to spectators and others, the dangers of the loss of life. We've seen shootings, we've seen car accidents. I believe that driving is a privilege. I believe that you don't have the right to go out and do this type of uh, conduct. If you can't act responsibly, then you shouldn't have the privilege of having a car. This legislation would, in instances where people have demonstrated the inability to exercise that right or that privilege uh, responsibly, for them to lose that, to lose their vehicle. And I believe that it can act as a deterrent. It won't solve the problem. Hollywood and others, the entertainment industry glorifies far too often the mm -hmm. issues of street racing. We've seen this in the most recent movie release. But I do believe that it's a step in the right direction. At the beginning of this interview, you did talk about how you have a smaller force right now. You've lost about 1,000 officers since 2019 who have left the department. Mm -hmm. um, first, I want to know what's being done to correct it. I also want your take. You know, the LAPD union leader uh, on social media, there's been some tension between her and the city council. She said uh, that she believes officers should go to communities where political leadership understands their worth. I have to imagine that has an impact. So what are you doing to make sure that, that we gain more officers? Sure. Because the mayor wants more officers on the force. It's, it's a multifold problem, and it's not just happening in Los Angeles, it's across the country. I just returned from a national uh, uh, seminar where we talked about the recruitment challenges, the retention challenges of today. It is in part a result of the, of the traumatic circumstances we've seen in this country in the last mm -hmm. few years. What we're doing about it is, first of all, I welcome the support of Mayor Bass and the elected, uh, our elected city council, which has given us a record budget to hire at record levels, both sworn personnel as well as civilians. 
Secondly, she's working on getting us better equipment, uh, updating our cars, our technology, as well as ensuring that the wages, the contract that's under negotiation right now, is a contract that will demonstrate to the people in this department that they're supported. I believe they are supported by our elected leaders. It's unfortunate to remark that the union vice president made. I understand it, it was born out of frustration, but I do believe that Angelinos support the men and women of this organization. I see it every day, and I know that our men and women are grateful for that support. You know, you talked about the contract. I do want to ask you about that, too, mm -hmm. because obviously every day, it seems, we're talking about a strike here in Los Angeles. Where do contract negotiations stand? Well, first, let me be clear. The law enforcement and LEP will not do a strike. It's not only against the law, it's unethical. Uh, so we are in the negotiations presently. I'm encouraged by those negotiations. I believe that they're going to come to a conclusion, a successful conclusion here very soon. As to the strikes with the Writers Guild and others, you know, we're monitoring that. We're working closely with all sides to, to ensure that people have the right and the ability to demonstrate and, and for their views to be heard, uh, but also the safety of all involved. And I'm encouraged that so far to this point, and I expect it will continue, that these, this strike and this turmoil is being done in a way that people's views are being heard and understood. And I'm hopeful, as Mayor Bass is, that we're going to see this quickly resolved. Uh, Hollywood in, in Los Angeles is so dependent on oh, yeah. our entertainment mm -hmm. industry. Uh, we lead the world in that, and so many lives are tied to a successful entertainment business. So I'm hopeful that, again, all sides can come together and we can respect the rights and, the, and really the, the value of, of our writers and our producers and others uh, and, and generating what we all you know, seek to, to find, which is a little bit of solace with some entertainment and some, uh, some whether it be movies or, or stories or others. Yeah, so many of these types of issues get so heated and can potentially mm -hmm. get violent, so it is good that it's just been peaceful so far. Expect it will be. Chief, we appreciate you coming in. Thank, thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. We know you're busy. Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs>